I welcome you once again. Good morning. This is uh, Dr. Shigundu Spire. I'm a guy in lab paroscopic surgeon working with Henry Hospital Zana on Entebbe Road, Kampala, Uganda. Um, I also um, subscribe to and I'm a member of uh, the Association of Laparoscopic Surgeons of Uganda. So today I want to present to you this case of uh, a young Naliparous woman who presented to our center with uh, chronic pelvic pain, um, which um, could not respond to analgesia and all sorts of treatment. So we decided to do a diagnostic laparoscopy um, to try and find out the cause. So a quick anatomical survey was done and what we found was blood in the pelvis. Uh, it is very important in these cases to do um, a survey of the entire abdomen including um, the perihepatal spaces because sometimes you find, like in this case, you can see the whole um, pelvis has blood collections and areas of fibrosis. But most cases you'd find uh, fibrotic strands, um, the Cachet-Fuse -Fuse syndrome of uh, previous infection of gonorrhea chlamydia on the liver so that one can even give you a clue on the fertility uh, prognosis but um, this patient had a clean liver uh, there were no signs of adhesions in uh, the hypogas in the in the in the liver spaces but she had uh, some blood collection in the pelvis so uh, straight away this gave us a clue that this was endometriosis. Endometriosis always has to be at the back of your mind as one of the commonest causes of pelvic pain. We also had to inspect um, the appendix. The appendix is also another big culprit in women with chronic pelvic pain. Uh, most times it will even look healthy, but um, it could be the cause of pain. So we um, identified lesions of endometriosis um, in the area of the uterosacro, the posterior cervix, and uh, um, in the cal de sac. And we used a spatula, a heel of a spatula, to do a fulgration. A fulgration is usually done uh, with the heel of a spatula set at about 40, uh, 40 watts on, on, on the energy source. So it is good practice to inspect the entire ovarian fossa because the commonest areas of endometriosis are the ovarian fossa, the cal de sac, uh, posterior cal de sac, anterior cal de sac, the ovary, um, the triangle of doom, the triangle of pain, um, the rectum, and um, sometimes blood as well. But um, endometriosis um, mainly goes for the cal de sac, the posterior cal de sac, and the ovaries. Um, this patient had clean tubes. Um, we didn't see any adhesions holding up the tube. Actually, uh, by the American score, uh, we scored this patient uh, with uh, a moderate uh, form of endometriosis with uh, films adhesions and a few um, uh, lesions. We did a variant drilling um, for the uh, purpose of trying to to exclude ovarian endometrioma. Sometimes patient will have endometriomas in the ovaries. So if you're suspicious, it is good to look out for it because then it can greatly affect fertility. A few areas of endometriotic spots were identified on the uh, bowel serosa of the rectum and uh, they were carefully fulgrated. And then um, spots over the uterus. The appendix uh, 
looked adherent onto the uterus and the adhesions were carefully separated. It was also adherent to the triangle of doom. So those peri uh, appendicular adhesions are also a sign of inflammation, of chronic inflammation. So we decided to do appendectomy. Sometimes it is good practice to remove the appendix if you are suspicious that um, it could be involved in, in the cause of pelvic pain. So laparoscopic appendectomy is uh, quite a simple procedure. So as long as the appendix is not firmly adherent, uh, we used extracorporeal square knot, in particular the rudder's knot, to secure the base of the appendix. And um, we put two uh, firm knots um, at the appendicular stump. We use the bandaka a knot pusher to secure our knots and then sharp scissors to separate the appendix from the uh, sickle stump. General retrieval uh, of uh, um, a, a not so badly inflamed appendix is done through a, um, a second report. The appendix is hidden in the reducer actually not second but optical port in the optical port we usually introduce um, um, a smaller scope through the uh, accessory ports and then we'll retrieve the appendix via the optical port then we we'll clean up and uh, um, hope you enjoyed the video, that is the appendix. This was a, a simple case of uh, diagnostic laparoscopy for endometriosis and appendectomy. Thank you very much for watching the, this video. Please subscribe to our channel for future educative videos. Thank you very much. Bye.